We've heard about the tallest buildings in the world, but what about the biggest? There are some buildings that have floor space so massive, the occupants don't even know what to do with it. From a house of parliament with 700 unoccupied rooms, to a building in China with both an Olympic-sized skating rink and a pirate ship inside. On this episode of Built a Billion, we present to you the eight biggest buildings in the world and stay till the end because you won't believe the size of the last building on our list. If you want to stay updated on all the mega projects of the world, please hit that subscribe button and leave a like. St. Peter's Basilica. You'll be hard pressed to find a church bigger than St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City. At 160,000 square feet, it's the largest church in the world and it's just as beautiful as it is huge. It was built in 1626 with a 42 meter wide dome sitting on top of it and is adorned with Renaissance era art on the interior. This art features pieces by Benini and Michelangelo, so this building is definitely worth the visit, Christian or not. The Arium. The Arium was an airplane factory at one point, but was repurposed into an indoor theme park. In 1938, the Nazis built it as an airfield near an East German town, but once the war was over, the Soviets took it over and held it until 1992 when Germany reclaimed it. The same year, a company named Cargo Lifter AG bought the airfield to construct airplanes. They built a construction hall 60 meters long, 210 meters wide, and 107 meters high at 750,000 square feet. It's currently the world's largest single hall without supporting pillars inside, and in 2000 was commissioned to build and house Cargo Lifter CL-160 aircraft. But then Cargo Lifter went bankrupt, and in 2003, a Malaysian corporation bought the building for just 7.5 million euros, 10 times less than what it took to build. This property changed hands more than a church collection plate. The company then created the indoor theme park Tropical Islands in 2004, which also houses the largest indoor rainforest in the world. Not to mention the beach, water slides, bars, and restaurants. The name could be better, but if you're in the area, why not head over to Tropical Island today? The O2. First opened on January 1st, 2000 as the Millennium Dome, the O2 in Southeast London is one of the largest entertainment complexes on Earth. With an area of 1.1 million square feet, the venue closed down shortly after opening and then reopened under new ownership in 2007. It became the first multi-purpose venue in London with its indoor arena, music club, cinema, exhibition space, bars, and restaurants. The arena has a capacity of 20,000 people and has hosted everything from the Olympic Games to live music performances. The nightclub inside is called the Indigo O2 and is a 2,750 person capacity nightclub that hosts live music for private events, corporate events, and live shows. Then you have the O2 Bubble, which is an exhibition space that can be used as a pop-up museum, and there's even a massive shopping mall inside to top it all off. There's absolutely no reason you shouldn't be having fun when you visit this huge building. Romania's Palace of Parliament Romania's Palace of Parliament may take the cake when it comes to houses of government. This is the third largest and heaviest parliamentary building in the world at 3.9 million square feet and weighing 4.1 million tons. This building is located in the capital of Bucharest and houses the Senate, Chamber of Deputies, holds three museums and an international conference center. Inspired by the massive legislative building in North Korea, Romania started instruction on this behemoth in 1984 and didn't finish it until 1997. The quality of the building isn't lacking, by the way, with its 35 tons of crystal, 1 million cubic meters of marble, 700,000 tons of bronze and steel, and 900,000 cubic meters of wood. The building has 1,100 rooms and 700 of them are unused, so they might have went a bit overboard on this project. Let's save the massive undertakings for the world superpowers, maybe? Tesla Factory Fun fact, the shell of the Tesla factory was actually constructed in 1996 by General Motors. In 1984, it was partially taken over by Toyota, and then in 2010, Tesla took over the property, 
modernized it and now command a 4.6 million square foot factory. The factory manufactures the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y with its 10,000 workers creating the eco-friendly cars. Boeing Everett Factory Have you ever seen a Boeing 747? Those things are some of the largest planes on the market today. And so in order to make them, you need a very large amount of space. Boeing has built many factories, but none are as massive as the Everett factory in Everett, Washington. It takes up 4.28 million square feet of space and so is the largest airplane factory in the world. This means Disneyland could fit within its walls and it would still have 780,000 square feet left over. The factory was built in 1967 after Boeing received the modern equivalent of a $4.2 billion contract to build 747 planes for Pan American Airways. From there, it continued to expand with the increasing sizings of the new aircrafts it would build. Obtaining the land for the factory wasn't easy as those who owned the land weren't too keen to sell it. That is, unless Boeing paid 10 times the market price for the properties. After that conundrum, clearing the land and building the factory, everything costed the modern equivalent of $8 billion, which was more than what the company was valued at at the time. I don't think they're hurting for cash now though. What do you think? All Smear Flower Auction Building So you may not have known this, but flowers get auctioned off. Yes, this is a thing. And it happens in the All Smear Flower Auction Building that holds 5.5 million square feet of flowers from all over the world. 20 million flowers are sold per day, with an increase to 23 million on Valentine's and Mother's Day. Each flower goes through 30 quality checks before being sold, and bids for them start very high and work their way down. This means if you miss the high bid, you lose out entirely. Oh yeah, and this market represents 60% of the entire global wholesale flower trade. So without this building, beautiful flowers would be few and far between. New Century Global Center Name any building and I bet it doesn't have as many purposes as the New Century Global Center. With a massive 18 million square foot of floor space, this gargantuan building is home to the most random collection of services and activities. Here you'll find business offices, hotels, high-end shopping malls, an Olympic-sized skating rink, a pirate ship, a theater, and a faux Mediterranean village. Built in 2013, it's proof that China just needs an excuse to build stuff and is also a center for commerce in the city of Chengdu. So, if you ever wanted to ride a pirate ship indoors before you go ice skating, this is the place for you. What do you think about the biggest buildings in the world? Let me know in the comments below. Click the pinned comment to stop by the Built a Billion store to get some merch of your very own. How about now checking out the tallest buildings in the world? That video should be on the screen. So click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting Built a Billion.